What's up, everybody? Jason here from jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2021 Panini Certified Football just sold out. This is the Hobby Edition, four box break, two random teams each, number seven. And again, guys, 16 total spots. Everybody gets two random teams in the NFL, all card ship. Remember, guys, random teams breaks five through eight are from the same case. So here you go, guys. Here's the dice roller. Here are the customer names. So from James down to Brian. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to double up your names because you get two random teams per spot. Um, and here are the teams. So roll it. Three to three, six times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Angel Acevedo down to Seth. Six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Rounds out of the Titans. All right, six times. Boom, boom, boom. Angel with the Rams. Frank, you have the Raiders. Deported with the Jaguars and the Colts. Eric with the Bengals. Deported with the Bucks. Jure with the Jets and 49ers. DeMarcus with the Texans. Lee with the Dolphins. Karen with the Packers. Brian with the Ravens. Angel with the Cowboys. James with the Giants and Chiefs. Angel with the Bills, Patriots, Browns. Frank with the Falcons. DeMarcus with the Lions. Jeremiah with the Bears. Angel with the Seahawks, Karen with my Eagles, Lee with the Chargers, Angel with the Vikings, Deep Porter with the Broncos, Brian with the Steelers, Angel with the Saints, Jeremiah with the Cardinals, Eric with the Washington football team, Seth with the Panthers, and Titan. And how about my Eagles trading for Gardner Minshew? I think he might be the backup now, unless he's going to be a third stringer. I don't know what's going to happen with Joe Flacco. And now it's making me wonder. I know there's a lot of reports today of uh, Miami potentially trading for Watson in the next few days. I think that's still Houston's plan is still to get rid of it before the season starts. But now it makes me wonder, a, a few weeks back, there was like reports, you know, that the Eagles are really close to pulling off a trade for Deshaun Watson. And now it, ma now it, guys, now it makes me think, now that we've traded for Minshew, which is basically for nothing, which is great, I don't mind it. I think Minshew is a great quality backup in case, you know, Hurts or somebody were to go down. But now it's got me wondering, what if like the Eagles are just holding off playing Hurts really? Because he can still get traded for Deshaun Watson. And if Deshaun Watson can't play for most of this year due to being on the commissioner's list or being suspended, then Gardner Minshew kind of is like that little bridge until Deshaun Watson's back. Now I'm just, now I don't know what to think. I don't know. <laughs> now I'm just thinking. I'm just, I'm just afraid because I want, I want the Eagles to give Jalen Hurts a shot. I don't want him to trade for three first round picks and whatever the hell the Texans want. Imagine if Jalen Hurts would just pan out and then the Eagles have three first rounders potentially next year. You know how much firepower they can get? They can help the line out. They can help the defense out. Get another weapon. I don't know. That's what I texted Nick this morning. He was like, I don't know. No, I don't think there's any trade value for Hurts for sure. It's just that I think that if they trade for Deshaun Watson, they're going to have to give them Hurts. You know what I mean? It's not like they're going to have Deshaun Watson, Hurts, and then like Minshew on the same roster. Definitely has a lot of proof for, for sure. And that's why I, I think I think he is going to pan out. I think he's going to be uh, a pretty good quarterback in the NFL. And, and 
I think he fits perfectly with Eagles offense, especially with all the weapons. But yeah, I think he still has a lot to prove. That's why I think he's really low in the like analysis between quarterbacks. Like you know, he's like 31th ranked out of 32. I mean, he hasn't really shown so much. Kind of the Dolphins are kind of in the same situation as the Eagles too, because they both have a second year quarterback that's supposed to start, right? All right, let's just close the trade window, Frankie. Let's say no one wants to trade for the Raiders. But it's just, uh, it's kind of like, <laughs> man, I guess they're really not sold on Tua then. If they're going to trade the boatload for him. I think, obviously, Houston wants to take advantage of these teams that have, like, second-year quarterbacks that are maybe not sold on them. Because they can get a quarterback that still has a lot to prove in talent-wise, right? They get draft picks, and it ends up being a win-win for them. Well, that's how I am, Redman. I'm exactly in the same boat. It's like, why would you trade for Deshaun Watson? Like, my thing is that, you know, with everything being, you know, accused that he's been doing and stuff like that, obviously to me, the NFL must know something we don't. Unless, obviously, I just haven't done my homework. But if there was something really bad to come, let's say, like Trevor Bauer style, like where, like, he's not even playing anymore, the NFL would have done that already. The NFL would have stopped him from playing and doing all that or potentially playing until whatever happens but my thing is that I don't even think they must know something because these teams I wouldn't be trading for this dude if I know he's probably not going to play for in the NFL potentially like what are you going to trade all those picks for a year unless they're like there's obviously incentives like if he actually plays enough or you know that third rounder turns into a first if nothing happens to him or something like that like I don't know I just feel like it's just too risky but again I I just think they, they must know more than we do so I know, that is true, though. It does make... Tua fans do make... Do make uh, the fins a little nervous, I, I hear. I just think that the way the NFL has evolved, it's like, if you don't perform well your first year as a top, like, drafted quarterback, it's like they move on. And that's kind of the sad part. Remember those days where, like, first-rounders actually sat for a year or two? You're just expected to start now, you know, and perform well. Oh, for it. Am I right? What did they say the NFL stands for? Not for long? <laughs> All right, we got Miles Garrett to start us off to 149. Jonathan Taylor. Kellen Mond to 299. What up, P. Halt? How's it going, man? Amonra. Saint Brown to 249. I mean, I don't know if people, I mean, people obviously remember this, right? But this was the most recent one. Patrick Mahomes sat for one year. <laughs> you know, Mahomes sat for one year behind Alex Smith. You know? Look at Mahomes now. Michael Thomas. Kadarius Tony. Well, that's the thing. I think a lot of people refer back to like... Now, I'm not saying David Carr could have been a different type of quarterback, but I mean, a lot of those, you know, quarterbacks that got drafted are really horrible teams. That's my boy Jalen Hurts. You know, like, David Carr was, like, wasn't, he was, like, sacked, like, so many times. Ricky doesn't he hold the most, like, for sacks in a season? Like, that kind of stuff probably, like, just, you lose your confidence right away. And it's, like, your first year. You know, you're going to get drafted to a good team. 
But I, I think, I don't know. I guess some quarterbacks make it work, right? I guess every good quarterback gets drafted to the most, to the most worst teams, right? Especially if you're a high draft pick, that's kind of what it means. But some quarterbacks just make other players better, and some don't. Right? I mean, look at sort of some of these quarterbacks that just perform so well, like Tom Brady, right? With all these receivers that you've never even heard of, and they just elevate, I guess, their teammates. I should say. Oh, yeah, for sure. All right, next box, guys. So that Amonra was um, the Detroit Lions DeMarcus. We had Kellamon for the Vikings, which was Angel. Justin, uh, Jalen Hurts, sorry, for my Eagles and Karen Steele. And then some numbered cards there. Um, I feel like, did we get cheated or Relic? Or an autograph? I feel like you did. Hmm. Maybe you did. I mean, I didn't miss anything, obviously. I think this happened to me the other day. A lot of the cards were in the back, like this. So, so I did a box yesterday on, on loop. There was basically two of these turned around like this. And one of them should have been a relic, and one of them should have been an autograph. Which is weird. And they were just base cards instead. So I missed two hits in the last bo box I did for certified on, on loop. This one obviously we were just cheated one in a way, right? But I've seen it yesterday when, when we missed two hits. But who knows? I didn't finish the case. Now essentially what could happen is that we might have a box with like an extra hit and that kind of counterbalances it but we don't know if it's in these three boxes or it's in the other four that are for the next round of teams, which that always could be the case as well. It's like the people know they messed up, so they're like, all right, let's just load up an extra box and we'll have it in the same case. And obviously it's like a case break while well, all the hits are still gonna be there. They're just gonna be in different boxes. actually went to that Chargers of 49ers preseason game this past week at SoFi. By the way, SoFi, hands down, is probably the most beautiful uh, football arena or field stadium uh, in the NFL, <laughs> hands down. <laughs> that is like the craziest like uh, arena stadium. Jalen Waddle, three color patch out of 50, 49 out of 50 for the Dolphins. Going to Lee. Um, and yeah, I got to see Trey Lance last weekend. One, one of the, intercep the interceptions I think he thrown wasn't really his fault. But um, it was a pretty fun game to watch, though. Eric Stokes, can someone tell me, is this like J.J. Stokes' son or something? I feel like I don't really see too many Stokes, but I remember J.J. Stokes on the 49ers. To 75, Russell Wilson. We got Kenneth Gainwell to 199. And Rico. For the Cowboys, Zach Wilson, graffiti. Deami Brown to 149. Little Herbie at a 75. Justin Jefferson at 149, or to 199, sorry. 
Larry Roundtree. Joe Burrow. Nick Chubb. And Dez Fitzpatrick. Nice three color patch. 27 out of 50. Seth with the Titans. We got J.C. Horn to 99. Elijah Moore to 299 for the Jets, Jets, Jets. Josh Palmer. I think Charger fans are pretty excited about this guy. Out of 249, three-color patch. Little pink. Charge is going to leave. We got Luke Farrell to 50 for the Jaguars. Deami Brown to 249. Washington football team. To 2021, Joe Burrow. Graffiti. And oh, they for the Baltimore Ravens. That's out of twenty-five autograph. Going to Brian Las Vegas Mojo. C. D. Lamb for the Cowboys relic. Stafford at 249. Russell Wilson at 149. And Josh Palmer again to 299. JK Dobbins to Graffiti to 2021. J.K. Dobbins. Uh, 
Rajas to 199. Okay, guys, last box mojo here. We got John Bates to 249. Chase Young Graffiti. To a Togo by Loa. Dwayne Eskridge for the Seahawks. That is to uh, 125. Elijah Moore for the Jets. Three color patch to 249. Mac Jones for the Patriots. We have Tyler Rons and Derrick Henry to 249. Sorry, Chris Evans is numbered. And the Sean Wright. Autograph to 34, the Cowboys. Angel Acevedo with that one. And piece of the game, Alexander Matheson. For the Vikings. Going to Angel. Alrighty, guys, and there you go. So, unfortunately, I know some people may have one hit this. Um, it was a four box break, but there is still four more boxes left. Don't know what was hit in the first half of the case, guys. I really don't. Um, but I did put up the last uh, four boxes of the case there. So, a bunch of numbered cards here that we'll be top loading and sending out to you guys as well. Everything ships, I think, anyways. And, of course, the relics there. Elijah Moore was RPA. Extras relic. Uh, oh, well. Palmer, uh, Rico, Kelamon, Hertz. We have Amonra, Nashawn Wright, Elijah Moore, Relic, Three Color Patch Desk with Patrick, Yami Brown, and Jalen Waddle. So there you go, guys. Appreciate it. This was break number seven. Again, break uh, number eight's in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com.